boy. Okay. Good. Hold. So that would be 42.8 kilograms. Good. Good boy, Tucky. So, Maddie, who do we have here? So, this is Tuck. He is our two year old harbor seal. And right now, we're doing a weighing session with him. Well, he seems very willing okay. and comfortable participant here on the scale. And does that go for all the other resident Good. marine mammals that we have here? Yes, so the weighing behavior is a very, very important behavior. So we try to make sure we have a lot of reinforcement on the scale. He knows when he comes on the scale, he's gonna get lots of fish. That way I can kind of ensure that every week he is gonna come to the scale. Good, Good. Good. So every single seal and sea lion is weighed on the same day at the same time. Good. Yep, that's right. Um, typically, Wednesday is our current day. Good, target. Um, so every Wednesday morning, we kind of run around, make sure all of our animals get weighed. Good, flip, good. Again, it's something that we use to help determine if our animals need to eat more or less food. That changes a lot with our seals and sea lions. They'll go through different weight patterns throughout the year. Nice job, Tucky. Finish. Oh, hello, son. I oh, know, it feels good. So to speak to the way the weight fluctuates throughout the year, what is the average weight change you see? So for the seals, um, kind of the big factor for that is we're going to look during molt season. That's where they shed all of their hair. Um, it's very exhausting, and that's actually when they're typically their skinniest. They don't have as much food motivation. They mm. don't want to eat as much. So around then, you're probably looking at a 30 to 40 pound difference from where they are right now, where they're a lot hungrier, oh, wow. they're thickening up. And they're the heaviest during the winter, which I can also attest to based on all the cake that I ate last night <laughs> and candy thereafter. Yes, I feel the same. <laughs> yeah.